Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. My name's Jerry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So what we're doing today is we're planting in some more plants in front of the tomato plants. So the back portion of the water drip system is going to take care of the tomatoes. And the front portion is going to be a dual purpose of taking care of radishes and some carrots and maybe a couple of extra shallots and onions. We're gonna plant all the way across the front part of our new raised bed garden that we have here on the wall. Okay, so that's what we're gonna get doing. Let's get started. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. I thought what I would do this time, instead of just kind of use the hose, is I would lay a string right across to keep everything straight. And I've been paying attention to my soil and there's no weeds at all. So I know that if something pops up, it's not gonna be a weed, it's gonna be what I planted. So that's what we're gonna do next. So what I did is I put a little nail on this corner here and this is agricultural twine. I'm going to turn this and you'll see it on this side too. if you follow a straight line like that and it won't hurt any leaving it there and if I see something grow in that area I'll know for sure it's what I'm putting in we're gonna do the same thing for the other side this other smaller box we just use a slip knot like this, put it over here, and go to the other corner. Let me show you. So the first string was, I used a roofing nail. See? And I tied this string all the way down over the first three. Okay. So the string goes all the way across, all the way to here, and you can see it's tied down. Then another string is following the water line. Ah, uh, look, we have some weeds. We want to get rid of these now, so we don't think that they're the plant I'm putting in. Now this earth, this soil, was purchased at Lowe's as a like guard, raised bed garden soil. So it's a combination of peat moss and regular soil and compost, and also because it's miracle Grow, it's got some chemicals in it too. And it's all the way down to the end. All right, so we're going to start our planning now. This is more of an update. What I'm doing 
is it's about halfway through the season, the summer season, and I'm transplanting and I'm putting in more carrots in here and more radishes. And I'm hoping that the irrigation system I have is going to be worthy of what I have, I have to grow. And the reason for that is I am really enjoying my radishes. They're just gigantic right now. And I think it's because I have such soft soil, they're just, just loving it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So it's a very simple little video, just basically replanting some of the vegetables that I've already grown. If you're interested, come and watch this. Now what I'm doing is I'm planting fairy morse radish. These are cherry bell radishes that I purchased from Lowe's. I'm also planting Park Beauty Blend radishes that I got from Park Seed. Also I'm planting the leftover white onions and I'll be interspacing those in between. The onions keep the, this is what I call companion planting. It protects the tomatoes, it protects all the plants around. Plus I just like white onions. So that's what we'll be doing. Over here, you see the white line? I'm gonna make a row, so you quickly read the directions there. Let's see, in full sun, sow seeds two inches in a row. You know, two seeds per inch in a row. Cover seeds firmly with soil. When plants have three or four leaves, thin one inch apart, we never do that. For steady crops, sow every 10 days until warm weather again in fall for 30 days before frost. Okay, and then the, the park seed, they say pretty much the same thing. The problem is that it's green um, lettering on gold paper and it's harder to read, but it's the same basically system. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to plant the onions first, and then we're going to take care of the radishes. So I'm taking this stake here and I'm following this line and I'm just basically making a row. And this soil that I bought from a different company that I normally buy is much better and has no weeds in it. filled with white onions and I just love them. I'm just going to put some more in. Just built the entire bag on the ground. The next one's over here. And we'll put one at the end. And then what I haven't covered up, I'll be... Okay, I'm going to put these onions back in the bag so that I can go to the next place. I'm going to try to see if I can find more onion bulbs, maybe a different color. Do this very well. It needs to get done. Now they have these little cedar things, these little cedar cups, and that does help you to be able to put in the um, radishes in. But of course, I stepped on mine the other day, so I don't have to. So, 
so in my hand. One of these days, I'll get that plastic cup and we'll do it that way. So what I'm doing is I'm putting three seeds per hole. I'm just gonna lay them all down and I'm gonna cover them up. move the hose, the drip line to go on top of these at the end. just put in the new radishes. So they're gonna get watered. Like they're supposed to. Alright, now we're gonna use the other radishes on the other side. A quick update. So we figured out what was wrong with the re with the uh, squash plant. This is our third attempt to remove the ants and we happen to be right on an ant nest. And I don't want to use pesticides so I'm trying to use it the natural way as much as possible. But this plant probably won't be um, providing. So I've uh, placed the zucchini in my community garden. These other guys are doing fairly okay but they're not producing anything at all. So I doubt anything will happen this year. Lesson learned. The ground here is horrible. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera so that you can see this portion. And we're just doing a little transplanting. Same thing as before, we're using this stake, we're following the line. We have a better chance of living if they're next to the water hose. Concerns me a little bit that it's dry over here. I'm going to have to find out why. Okay, so I'm going to use my fingers and open it up a little bit and do our next row. Now, in the middle here, I'm going to plant carrots. So this time, we're going to use the park seed. Before we do that, we're going to continue our onions. Okay, so. 
in here. Some of these I've, I've waited too long and they're a little bit dehydrated. Oh. We have four more for the next row and I'm just going to plant them right now. So that's basically it. So now hopefully we'll be able to have some radishes in our garden. And as soon as I find the carrot seeds, I'll be planting them in the middle and I'll show you the next update on how the carrots are doing. All right, this was just a quick update, fall planting to be able to continue the crop going throughout the end of summer and the beginning of fall.